Okay, back with another one. I actually got my um, clutch springs back early. Let me make sure this thing is not in the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we should be good with this video. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Make sure it's adjusted right. Okay. So, uh, we get to turn it on. So I got my clutch springs early. I got them today. Amazon. <laughs> they told me it'll be in tomorrow, but um, I got them today. Um, I got my carburetor tuned in right with my timer because it's a not timer. Sorry, my CDI. It's um, advanced timing. So I had it up too high, so I brought it down. You know, just adjusted it. Um, so today I have the clutch springs in the um, 15. I'm so, I keep saying 15,000. It's 1500 RPM. Sorry, last video I kept saying 15,000 and all that. No, it's 1500. So um, what I did was I just took my stock rear clutch and just took out the um, stock springs and changed all the springs to the yellow uh like i said 1500 so we're gonna test it today um see how this goes too bad so far doesn't feel bad so my rpms aren't too high I still have the same size variator as the 2000 rpm so I wanted to see if I needed to be lighter heavier I don't know feels good though it doesn't feel like as snappy as a downshift as the 2000 rpm one but I'm gonna see how this picks up doing construction here from yesterday So, okay, so the RPMs aren't too high. Picks up pretty fast. Make sure my phone doesn't fall out. Okay. doing pretty good so if you've been watching this couple of videos this is kind of like the same route I've been running Ooh, you can see that bump. Um, pretty much around my neighborhood just testing everything that I've been putting on my scooter just uh, seeing what works right. So, like I said, I gotta really break it in. Okay, so this is where I usually come to do my, I just wanted to zip my phone up, see how this goes. I don't know. Hopefully the video comes out good and you guys can see I've been trying to get this dialed in right where it looks right for how I want it to look but I don't know it's not too bad last one was was okay my idle is kind of high I'll fix that like I said just learning and tuning and 
trying to get it right. I will. Hopefully this mic stays in right. All right, a little bit of traffic. I want to get a little space so I can, um, you know, turn in right, not have people behind me and cause any traffic. So, but I'm pretty sure from what I've seen, I can keep up. Yeah, my idol's a little. that adjustment and then come back out for another test ride oh gosh Look. oh gosh <laughs> all right so that concludes that Alright you too. Back again. Uh, let me make sure I got this on right and this camera is, this line is not in my face. Okay. So that should be it. And I'm taking another ride with my clutch springs. Again, this time I changed the um, rollers. Oh gosh. And I'm going to So yeah, my wife is there, so I was just messing with her. But um yeah, so I changed them to eleven and ten grams because I wanna see um if the le the heavier roller weights will work. Um because the RPMs are getting too high with this this clutch bring in. And um, with the 2000 one, it didn't get that high. Um, but then again, I did um, tune the advance and, you know, um, on the time, on the timing. Oh, I was about to go, but let me wait till this guy goes. So, um, yeah. So I don't know if that changed anything. Then I changed the variator last time because my Glixo one, it just wasn't sliding properly then I fixed that because it's just this glides weren't going up too right so pretty much um, I put it back on it's good to go let's see what it does okay RPMs not too high all right RPM is definitely not as high, but it's definitely lower, more heavier weights. But we're going to test, really what I want to test is when I w go wide open throttle. So if I go wide open throttle and it doesn't get that high, then we should be okay with the setup and then I'll get sliders for it. because. I don't want to run rollers. Sliders look like they last longer. Okay, it's picking up faster. Well, I don't want to say faster, but it's picking up without having to go as high on the RPMs. So, um, yeah, I didn't. It was going up into the 8500s, and I don't want to, like I said, push that engine too high. What I did do, since I was my wife threw me off, luckily it didn't fall out my pocket, but let me put on my gloves. I felt funny just now. Didn't feel like I was getting a great grip. And let me fix my mirrors. 
so all right so here we go again yeah rpm definitely not getting that high but i want to see what my top speed is going to be uh gets to 30 pretty quick you know just like how it was getting before little bit of stretch I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with it these rollers but yeah um, so it's kind of like continuation on the last one the last one the RPMs were too high this one um, what was I had the rollers I had were was it six no I'm sorry seven and nine this time I have ten and eleven for these same clutch springs so I don't know I didn't have to go that high on the, the tighter tension clutch springs but maybe I wasn't it was too tight let's see how it goes okay you too Oh. Fix my helmet. Okay, there we go. All right. Last ride for the day. All right, testing these. Huh. I realize changing variators really does mean a lot. My um my variator was getting stuck. I changed it, and then next thing you know, everything is different with my RPM. So pretty much I put the old one back because I, I realized how why it wasn't adjusting and um, got different results so I'm going to try it again with the 1500 rpm springs we're gonna see how good they perform Where's my mirrors? Two turned out. Okay, there we go. All right, so a little night ride around the neighborhood, real quick. All right. All right. Should my kickstand is up. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, not bad so far. I'm gonna come around. Fix my cell phone in my pocket. Ah, hold on. Fix my cell phone in my pocket. Little blooper there. Uh, I don't want my phone to fall out. So more importantly, uh, see if I can get the zipper up. One second guys there we go technical difficulties there we go put my glove back on all right this is world world all right so seems like it's pretty good with the six point Oh, these lights are nice I just put these lights in and I turned them on and they really light up my way so looks like it's picking up okay these are seven and nine gram weights so 
they um it's doing good with them so that means i can put my i put my uh sliders in and they should do well with this setup yeah it picks up it picks up okay uh, my real test is the straightaway that I usually go on. That tells me where my RPMs are really going to sit at. So, hopefully you guys can see. Sitting at 62. All right, so we're at the straightaway I usually come to. So, not too high RPMs. Not picking up how I want to. Maybe I'm a little lighter. A little bit lighter. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go maybe Yeah, because I'm only getting wide open throttle, 42. So, this is not bad, but I was getting more with stock. Coming to an end. All right, I really like these lights. All right, so that's it for the night. But I'm going to change the roll weights out, make them lighter. Then tomorrow I'll do another test.